All right. So this video is all about how being a multifamily agent, especially in the commercial real estate sector, is different from being a residential agent. And I get this question a lot. So I want to make it very simple in this lesson is that the biggest difference is that you are an investment advisor versus just a real estate agent. So the activities are different. The responsibilities are different, but there's also similarities as well. I'll start with leads. When you generate leads in multifamily real estate and investment real estate, it's mostly over the phone, mostly over you know texting, emailing, calling, asking these owners if they wanna sell their property or buy their property. And a lot of the leads come from there. Where residential wins is that it's much easier to get a lead in residential real estate because almost anyone can be a client. A much higher percentage of people are able to buy a house and to buy an investment property. Our niche of an investment real estate is very small, right? We're very targeted, very focused. There's a lot less multifamily investors in San Diego or in California versus people who can buy a home in California. It's way, way lower. That's where residential wins. It's easier to get a lead, but where multifamily wins is that it's harder to get a lead, but it's actually easier to convert a lead because you don't have to show multiple properties. You don't have to hold their hand. You only have to show them the numbers and the condition of the property and they'll make an offer with you. Like when I have a buyer, all I need to do is send them emails of pro formas of properties, financials and photos, and they'll make an offer. Whereas a residential lead, if they're a buyer lead, you have to physically drive to these properties and show them to these buyers and a lot of the times they don't make offers on anything when they see eight houses in one day. So that's where multifamily wins. It also, what I like about multifamily is that it's a lot less turn and burn. If you land a great client, like for example, I've done over 10 deals, even 15 deals with the same client in the last three years. Whereas that doesn't happen that much in residential real estate. It's like if they buy a house, if they sell their house, they're moving and they're probably not going to move for a long time. That's that. But where residential wins is residential is a lot more referral based because they can refer their friends because when one group of friends can buy a house, usually someone else in that friend group is ready to buy a house six months later. So it's a lot more referral based. It's a lot harder to find referrals in my business because like I said, the number of investors versus the number of home buyers is much smaller. So there's pros and cons. So you have to realize what do you enjoy doing more? What kind of real estate do you wanna be in? I personally like multifamily because I'm much more numbers based. There's, it's much less emotional. Residential real estate is very emotional. It's their first home they're buying. So they care a lot about the features of the home, the fireplace, the kitchen, the flooring, the paint. Whereas an investor, they don't care about any of that stuff. If it makes money and there's and there's money to be made, they're going to buy it. I like the sales process for multifamily a lot better. And that's why I'm in the field today. I think that's all I have. The day to days are different. There are some similarities, right? In the end, you are, when you build relationships in both sectors, the more relationships you have, the more money you're going to make. So both sectors require making relationships. No matter what, being a real estate agent, whether you're commercial or residential, you're going to crush it. But multifamily is the GOAT. So I'll see you in the next video.